hi lovely viewers and welcome to the channel hope you guys having a blessed week and a blessed month so in today's tutorial video i'll be showing you how to measure peep on your mt4 mobile app for the purpose of this study we shall be using trading view as our reference and we'll be using a particular pair and a particular move in this case euro usd and the move we we shall be measuring the pip is the move from here to here so normally on trading view if you want to measure pip you use your ruler tool and you click to the whole move and your pip will be written out here this 63.3 or you could use your short position move or your long position move depending on the direction of the market you click it and drag it to the end of your movement Six, also here we have 62.3 approximately same with the other one 62.9 so normally this is how it's done on trading view now for the meta trader 4 app we don't have any dedicated tool which can be used to measure pip but we can use other existing tools that can be used to draw line diagonally any line tool that can be drawn diagonally can be used to measure pip examples of those line tools are your trend line your arrow line even fibonacci too can be used to measure pip so for this example i'll be showing you both trend line arrow line and fibonacci line you, so for the trend line once you place from the start of where you want to measure and you want you start moving the line you could see at the top left hand corner some numbers that move as you move the line those numbers uh, actually contain some information and for the pip that middle number is what we're interested in that middle number showing six to four at the moment or six to five at the moment is what we're interested in but in this case you have to approximate to one decimal place that is that 634 it will now be 63.4 or now in this case 62.3 and that is the pip from that up to the bottom now if we use arrowhead is similar they all show the same information at the top left hand corner you put your arrowhead from the start and take it to the end of where you want to end your pip and you see 62.2 pips you approximate it to one decimal place and for the fibonacci also you have similar results once you put it there at the start and you drag it down you could see similar information at the top left hand corner in this case uh, 62.1 62.1 pip so let's also try out another pair GBP USD so on trading view we let's base it on this move from here to here and if we use our ruler tool and check the pip from this point to this point is like 69.3 so on metatrader 4 if we use our trend line from that same point over here to the end here we have 69.5 pips so approximately 
0.3 pips you always round up to one decimal place to get your actual pip for most usual currency pair but it may not really be the same for indices uh, I think some other pairs so this is the end of the video if you like this tutorial and want to see more please hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome content until next time